Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife, Biname or B. Make sure you have subscribed to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so, so you know, know when a new video comes, comes out. Thank you. Okay, today, today, I am going to be sharing with you what is it like to be dating or in a relationship with a black Congolese girl. Yeah, yeah. Specifically my woman. <laughs> <laughs> These are his take. I'm going to try and help him along yes. the way. <laughs> These are simply my own personal perspective and yes. opinion. So black girls, Congolese girls, uh -huh. you guys, this is about you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and mostly you. <laughs> Watch out for her father and brothers. <laughs> This is no joke. If you plan on spending some time with a Congolese girl, you are going to have to get through them. And trust are, me. Are you speaking from oh, experience? Oh, man. <laughs> you already know. Yes, yes. Jory, Jory had a hard time. I have five brothers. Yeah. Um, two, I would say maybe three older ones that are just like very pers pers per Detective, I can't yeah. speak. <laughs> they are. And then my yeah. dad is like a cold stone dad. Like, yeah, what he you is. Want? <laughs> he is. Yeah. African cold stone Congolese yes. to the core. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and rightfully so. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah so. Something something that's worth a lot, uh -huh. you have to work hard to get to. Yes. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so my experience is that I couldn't even speak to her father right away. Mm -hmm. I actually ended up finally speaking to one of her older brothers, <laughs> and that was like the stepping stone, uh -huh. and he grilled me for a while, <laughs> and then when I did try to call her father, uh, it was not, it didn't go real well. <laughs> No. I, I tried the best I could. I still failed miserably mm -hmm. and had to give it another shot. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, received a phone call from her other older brother, her <laughs> oldest brother, uh, giving me the what for. <laughs> he told me what was up. So I, I, evidently, I had stumbled into this and not been respectful enough. Mm -hmm. And... And I had a lot to learn, mm -hmm. which I did learn and, and finally got where I wanted to be next to this girl. <laughs> so yes, father and brothers are no joke in the yeah. Congolese culture and get ready to dance. The first time I hung out with <laughs> Biname and her sister and the Congolese friends. <laughs> she was, she was. Kenyan. She's Kenyan. Oh, okay. There was a Ken it was at a Kenyan girl's house, a Kenyan yeah, lady's house. Yeah, yeah. With Congolese, this is something these girls and this culture and guys too are known for is That's dancing. Right. <laughs> Go watch some Congolese dancing because you'll see what I mean. It's it's part of the culture and mm -hmm. it's not it's not something bad or or mm -hmm. like sensual. Mm -hmm. It's just their way of expressing themselves. When they're happy, they dance. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is. And they're phenomenal dancers. Well, they, thank you. They have excellent control of their body, excellent rhythm, of course. So, yes, this is true of Congolese girls. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what it's like dating Dinamé, or was like dating her. She's She is an amazing dancer, and it was awesome, you know, getting to know her and seeing that she was a good dancer this way. I have no rhythm. So. No. That was like, oh, how is this going to yeah. work? <laughs> That's all right. I can enjoy watching. I mean, you, you, but Jory's very teachable. So, like, yeah. he started picking up a little bit, but he still has to think through I, his moves. I like, calculate the moves. I can't just feel the moves. <laughs> what you guys saw the Jerusalem dance? Um... <laughs> We were supposed to be eating while we were like filming it. <laughs> yeah. And George was like, I can't eat. I can't and do eat. This. I, I can't think eat. and eat at the same time. I can't talk and think and dance and eat all at the same time. <laughs> I said, honey, this is just for fun. He's like, yeah, but I can't do all that. <laughs> I have to think about every move. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. But yes, that that is very true. High decibels always. What you mean? Well, this is not a negative thing. I'm not saying they're yelling. <laughs> but if you get a bunch of Congolese girls and guys together, uh -huh. 
the decibel level just goes up. Yes. That's just how it is. They're Hello. excited. They're happy. <laughs> they're yes. they're social people. Yes. Yes. They love to be together. They That's love true. to talk. They love to enjoy life to the fullest. Yes. And and with that comes a a loud decibel level. Yeah. If yes. you want a lit party, invite like two yes. or three Congolese. Yes. We got you. <laughs> yep. It will be fun. It will be fantastic. Uh -huh. Food, dancing, yes. talking. Yes. Kind you sometimes may think you're getting yelled at. <laughs> you're not. No! You're not. Don't be coming at my people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love you guys. I love this about you. I love that you're so expressive. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's been, it's been fun getting yeah. to know all these things. Poor Jory. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 I'm not mad. I'm just expressive. <laughs> You have not eaten until you've eaten bija. That's right. What I mean by this is... Bija, I was, sorry babe, bija is also known fufu. as fufu. Fufu, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, and and like the, the stuff that goes with it, the meat, the vegetable. Mm -hmm. um, so, like here's an example of what I mean. I, I was at a birthday party at Bename's parents' house mm -hmm. and her oldest brother was there and, and so he had been at work, I think, and mm -hmm. we had cooked like burgers and and like sausage, hot dogs, and, and what else? A few other things. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like potato salad and fries and... Fruit and, and veggie Yeah, we tray had eaten and... all this stuff. Like I was stuffed. I had burgers and you name it, I ate it because I love to eat. Mm -hmm. And so I was totally full. He gets home and asks his mom, you know, mom, do you have any uh, bija? Do you have, you know, mm -hmm. fufu and some beef or chicken or mm -hmm. fish and, mm -hmm. and some like sweet potato leaves or, you know, whatever it is that they cooked uh -huh. that day. Uh -huh. um, and so his mom had some there and, and so he's like, Jory, come, let's eat. And I was like, I, I'm, I'm totally full. I'm stuffed. And he's like, no, 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 that's not food. Come, come, you have to eat. And so I started understanding you in, in Congolese culture, you've not filled yourself till mm -hmm. you've filled yourself on the right Thing. That's right. Yeah. Hmm. So hey, that'll preach. Baba. <laughs> you need your, yeah, Nandeta. you need the real food. The real food. Pondu. Yes. <laughs> so you already know what I mean. Uh -huh. You already know. Yes. And I'm sure a lot of you have foods that you don't feel like you've eaten until you've until, eaten like, this yeah, staple like substance. food. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Yeah, when I eat burgers, I'm like. Mm. See, I love a burger. Yeah. Like but I don't feel like Congolese, that's food. No. Yeah. No, these girls, these guys, they, they haven't eaten till they've had real food. And, and when we eat... Trust me, when you have that foo-foo, <laughs> you better make sure you're active afterwards or you've got a place to lie down because it'll hit you yes. like a ton of bricks. Yes. You'll be like, whoa. Oh, the first... I'm tired. Listen, it's a ritual at our house. Like, when I go visit my mom... They are like, where's Jory? Jory's passed out on the couch somewhere. It's usually either after Thanksgiving eat. dinner has nothing on Bija. No. Bija will knock you no. out. Trip no. the fan, forget that. <laughs> Try Bija. It's like this hard carb, yeah. like very hearty yeah. cassava uh, flour yeah, with and corn, corn flour, flour mix yeah. into a paste. Yeah. Oh, Zambinangai. <laughs> anyway. Okay. When you eat it with, you know, yes. the side, you good. Yeah. Once you've eaten bija, yeah. then you've fully eaten. Yes. <laughs> That's right. So we feed you. Yeah. All right. Dating a Congolese girl mm -hmm. means that you're dating someone who's loyal. Hmm. This is true. Uh, I don't know if it's just the culture, mm -hmm. if it's innate in who they are, mm -hmm. but there's this loyalty mm -hmm. that uh, you see there that you don't see in a lot of, I mean, I'm sure you can pick out other cultures that it's like that, but that's just something I noticed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I think a lot of Congolese women mm -hmm. are very much that. Um, we're, I don't want to say this in the wrong way, but we're very prideful, not like in a bad sense, but right. like, yeah, like I have the best husband, like, yeah, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm going to big him up and, you know, brag him up and yeah. like, I'm not going to talk smack about him because that's my boo. Yeah. So like, that's just how we are. Yes. Like, yeah, if you, especially if you grew up in Congo, like that's how you were raised. Like territorial. Very. Like beyond loyal, territorial. Yeah, like I've yeah. never heard my, um, when I, cause I lived with my aunt and uncle when we were back home, I never heard my aunt speak rubber about, about her husband okay, okay. so like that is kind of maybe where i picked that up but right. like not a lot of 
women I saw around like gossiped about their husbands mm. and that's such a good trait yeah and so like that's how I grew up again it could be different in other yes. Congolese community uh, or, or well this is what I observe but for sure what he's observing yeah. is factual <laughs> My opinion. When dating a black or Congolese girl, you will find that she is very spiritual. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why this is, but I've noticed that it's true. There's a solemn spirituality that seems to be there, mm -hmm. and many times it's directed towards Yeshua Messiah, towards Yahweh, to mm -hmm. towards Father God, Jesus. Jesus, Another yes. Word, yeah. So um, there's this. I don't know what you would describe it as, except spiritual. There's an mm -hmm. awareness of the spirit realm. There's, oh, yeah. there's like, okay, there's something going on. We need to pray. <laughs> there's like, you know, <laughs> what does the Bible say? Or uh -huh. you know, th there's this awareness of, of Jesus, of God, and of the need to stay connected to that. Mm -hmm. And I've seen that over and over again, mm -hmm. and I've seen it very much in my wife. Yeah, like I remember <laughs> the first time I told him I was having these dreams, and then these dreams are like happening he's like right what yeah what? <laughs> yeah there's this there is this very strong supernatural connection mm -hmm. to to what's happening for Bename especially and I've seen it in her siblings and in her mm -hmm. parents with dreams they'll have a mm -hmm. dream and then it's very um it's an indication of what may be coming or mm -hmm. something that happens or a warning or whatever mm -hmm. so I listen when she says she's had a dream because there's a good chance it's a spiritual dream that is meant to help us. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> that is true. So if you are uh, a minister yes. or thinking of becoming a minister, yes. you know, I would recommend that you talk to a sister, a <laughs> sister, and you know, they, her, and have her become right. your wife. Gifts are given. Well, I mean, we'll, I don't want to preach too much, right. but <laughs> gifts are given broadly. Yes. He gives each one a gift. Yes. Uh, but I've noticed this. I don't know what it is about, about your family and about maybe it is a Congolese thing mm -hmm. that it seems like there's like an in tuneness almost mm -hmm. in dreams and, and, could it be that there's more of a bent that way? I think so, because in, you got to think in Congo, yes, there are some rich people, uh -huh. but majority of the nation isn't rich. Okay. So, like, our reliance is totally on oh, God. God. Yeah. So, like, I think, I and Maybe not as much where... distraction with technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You don't have all the phones and computers, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so maybe you're tuned in a little bit. I don't know. Maybe God loves us more. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he loves Dang. everyone. I'm all of you, he Don't loves. come for me in the comments. I'm joking. He loves us all. He loves us all. Yes, I just like saying that. Okay. <laughs> Congolese girls mm -hmm. and their families are very welcoming. Oh, yes. Uh, that's true. This is true. I've seen this in black communities. Mm -hmm. Black girls, black families, uh, mm -hmm. and Congolese black people as well. Mm -hmm. Very welcoming. Mm -hmm. I mean, you... Some people make you prove yourself. Right. And but these families welcome you with open arms. Right. There's there's no side eye, there's nothing. You're just accepted. Yeah, we trust you first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're started at a hundred percent. Yes. It's up to you whether it's you up keep to it you. or not. That's right. And that's <laughs> just awesome. Yeah. You know? Um I I had to like because I was coming after you, I mm -hmm. had to make my way through mm -hmm. you know, the the brothers and the father. But, you know, as a person, just as a person, they are kind, welcoming, yeah. gen generally caring mm -hmm. towards you. Yeah, so. very. So these are my seven points on what it's like dating a black Congolese girl. That's right. Hopefully this was helpful. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you enjoyed it mm -hmm. as I enjoy my Congolese girl. I know that's <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. We look forward to seeing you again soon. And as always, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up.